Our next inductee comes from Prague. Not Prague. <laughs> Prague, Czech in Republic. Vera Chozlaska was actually inducted into the International Gymnastics Hall of Fame for her incredible career back in 1998. But this is the first time that we've had a chance to have her with us. So we're celebrating her career this year. Vera is here with her son, Martin, who now lives in Ireland. And we're grateful that they made the trip to come here to celebrate her career. So let's take a look at the amazing career of Miss Vera Chazlaska. Vera Chozlowska of the Czech Republic is the only gymnast, male or female, who has ever won an Olympic gold medal for every individual event in gymnastics. All around, vault, uneven bars, beam and floor exercise. Chozlowska also has the distinction of holding more individual gold medals than any other gymnast in Olympic history. Born in Prague on May 3, 1942, Chozlaska won three gold medals, including the all-around at the 1964 Tokyo Olympic Games and the 1966 World Championships. Then, at the 1968 Olympics, Chozlaska was once again dominant, but after some controversial scoring cost her the gold medal on the balance beam, it appeared that there was more going on there than sport itself. Two months before the Olympics, Soviet tanks had rolled into Prague to crush a popular uprising, forcing Chozlaska to train in a secret rural location. So the political tensions between Czechoslovakia and Russia were evident during the finals as Chozlaska took to the floor to attempt to win her final gold medal. Oh, a beautiful, high, full-twisting back somersault. The best in this competition. The Mexican hat dance is not calculated to displease the audience here in Mexico City. They love it. Jim, that's a ten if I've ever seen it. Perfect the Jam National Auditorium in Mexico City, awarding by their applause the gold medal to Vera Chaslowska. She got the 9-9. Chaslowska has won her fourth gold medal. Or at least that's what she thought. We return to the National Auditorium. The officials have changed the figures that were given out before this event going into the final round. They have corrected the previous score of Larissa Petrick and have announced that it is a tie for the gold medal between Vera Chaslavska of Czechoslovakia and Larisa Petrik of the Soviet Union. What had just transpired was almost unheard of. After the event, officials announced that they'd been wrong all along, that Petrik's preliminary scores should have been higher entering the finals. So now Chaslavska would have to share the moment that was to have been hers alone. And now the Soviet anthem. And again, she has turned her head to the right and down, just as she did at the last ceremony. This does not appear to be an accident. Clearly, it was an act of public defiance in the face of Soviet tanks that had so recently crushed the Czechoslovakian uprising. Chozlaska became the heroine of the 1968 Olympics, not only because of her dominating victory, as well as her powerful political statement to the world. It was also there where she married 1964 Olympic silver medalist in the 1500 meters, Josef Odlozil, in a highly celebrated wedding ceremony in Mexico City. After the 1968 Olympics, Chozlaska paid a dear price for her politics, as Czechoslovakia was still under Soviet influence. However, years later after the Democratic Revolution, Chozlaska regained her highly respected standing and was invited to serve as advisor to Czech President Václav Havel on matters of health care and welfare. Later, she served as the president of the Czech National Olympic Committee. Vera Chozlaska's historic performances in Rome, Tokyo, and Mexico City, as well as her courageous moves on and off the floor, earns her her rightful place in the International Gymnastics Hall of Fame.
Pardon. Vera, Vera is going to speak tonight in the Czech language, and we're grateful that Petra Heber is here from Prague, Oklahoma. <laughs> Petra, Petra told me tonight she, she was born in Prague, but now she lives in Prague. <laughs> and she will kill her. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hello, my friend. Je mi líto, že bohužel neovládám angličtinu, jak bych si přála, protože díky životu v socialistické zemi jsem se musela učit ruskému jazyku a ten umím perfektně. I am sorry that I'm unable to speak your language. However, because of the political situation, I had to learn how to speak Russian, which I speak fluently. <laughs> Ještě jednu věc mám na srdci, než začnu číst svůj připravený oficiální projev. One more thing that I would like to say before I uh, uh, read my official um, written um, speech. Moc bych chtěla poděkovat kvartetu, které, který zahrál dvakrát dneska za večer naši krásnou vltavu od Bedřicha Smetany. A to tak bravurně, že mě to dojalo až k slzám. Takže já děkuji kvartetu I would like to thank the quartet who have played twice this evening. Uh, Smetana? Smetana Vedřich. Smetana Vedřich, Smetana. Um, Vltava. Vltava, Moldau. Moldau, yes. So she would like to thank you heartily because it has really, truly moved her. Thank you very much. <laughs> My friend, <laughs> ráda bych chtěla poděkovat za to, že mohu po letech být tady se svými přáteli, protože vidím tady mnoho tváří, které byly mým osudem, tváře, které mě držely vždycky nad vodou a tváře, které mi držel palce, abych vyhrála a dobře prosavila svoji vlast. I would like to thank you for the warm way in which you have welcomed me into your midst. I can see many faces I recognize from years past and people who have accompanied me through several important stages in life. Faces that bring back fond memories and people I have great respect for it is therefore an honor for me to be here among you again after all these years. Thank you. Chci se s vámi podělit o několik svých zážitků za poslední dobu, protože ti, kteří gymnastice rozumí, umí se vcítit do duše, kterou ten závodník prožívá. I will not tire you with reminiscences of shared experiences. There are so many of them that it would take forever. I would, however, like to share a couple of thoughts with you that have guided me during recent times. Život není lehký. Máme prohry a výhry. A prožila se si těžké období. Ale pravda je, že Jsem po všech těch různých pádech také se snažila dostat na, zpátky nad vodu. A potom, co jsem vystoupila na Olymp, nebyla cesta dolů, kterou jsem bohužel prožila růžová a jednoduchá. Spíš to byla taková doba pro mě velice ojedinělá, Byla to doba pro her a byla to prostě doba, kdy jsem prožívala, že jsem narážá na skálu. Narážá jsem na bezedná období pro hry. A ptala jsem se prostě, proč vlastně po období, kdy jsem měla nádherné vyhlídky, 
Prožívala jsem nesmírné emoce. Cítila jsem krásu, sportu, všechno, proč vlastně najednou mi to všechno bylo odebráno. I have experienced numerous disappointments and falls. After ascending the summit of Olympus, the journey downwards did not exactly follow the well-trodden path. It consisted of rocks, gorges, and a bottomless pit. I fell almost continuously until in the end, and quite recently, I felt almost hatred for the summit as I looked at it from the rock bottom. I asked myself, why did life at any early stage provide me with so many beautiful views, clear skies and emotions, just so they could all be taken away from me again one by one? Chci se s váma podělit o zcela prozaickou věc a sice, proč sport miluju, proč miluju gymnastiku. Gymnastika totiž mě naučila mnohému, ale také mě naučila jedné velké vzácnosti. Naučila mě padat a zase se zvednout a jít dál. A ptala jsem se mnohokrát nejenom sebe, ale i Boha. Jestli je tohle opravdu smyslem mého života. Našla jsem vlastně odpověď v tom, že jsem našla sílu v lidech, kteří gymnastiku milují, kteří mi fandili, kteří mě nenechali padnout a povzbuzovali. A to byla pro mě neuvěřitelně velká síla. A za to děkuju nejenom vám tady, ale všem těm, kteří náš sport milují. I want to share with you the reason why I love our sport so much. It teaches us how to fall. As I was lying under Olympus without the strength to get, it, to get up, I asked myself and God whether this was really the meaning of my life. And I found what it is that sport teaches us. I looked back over my shoulder and past the hills of pain, ravines of injustice and rocks of slight and I saw you, people that accompanied me, people who also trudge through life, people who choose the path of fairness. Sport mě naučil padat, ale takovým způsobem, že jsem vždycky našla zase sílu se zvednout a jít dál. A za to jsem děčná tomu, že jsem mohla být podporována publikem, fanoušky, kteří mě prostě fandili. Tak za to bych chtěla poděkovat, ale hlavně děkuju gymnastice za to, že jsem měla vždycky energii. I když jsem padla a byla jsem mnohdy už mrtvý člověk, že jsem se dokázala zvednout a že jsem šla dál. A to je velká přednost našeho sportu. This is what our sport gives us, an appreciation of the fair route through life, even when this route is thorny and difficult. And one more thing that I value our sport for is that it teaches us to fall in such a way that even when we are apparently dead on our knees, we can still pull, to, pull ourselves together even when we do not believe ourselves that we have any energy left to continue. Thanks to gymnastics, we always find the energy to get up in the end. We go on and we never ever give up.